Now our mid grip 360 is going to be very similar to our regular 360, except as the name would suggest, we're using the mid grip. So starting in my regular 360, I'm going to take my top hand and move it halfway up the handle into that middle arm loop of the 10 pound mace or just halfway up the handle of the 7 pound mace. So this is going to start slightly different than our other 360s because I'm going to use my bottom hand to push the mace into a blocked position. So my left hand is on the bottom here, so I'm going to take the left hand over to the right, which is going to bring the globe to my left shoulder. I'm going to raise my hands up, allow the mace to drop behind my back. Now I'm going to use my top hand to pull the mace down, push with my middle hand, and now I'm back in my starting position. So I push, raise, and pull. And I'll still allow the weight of the globe to give you some momentum on that bottom part. So at full speed, it's going to look like this. Now, just like with the mills and other movements, relax your hands and just hold on to the mace as much as you need to without throwing the mace. So, if I relax my hands, I'm able to, if you see my top hand, my palm is not on the mace at all anymore, because if I were to leave my palm on the mace, I'd get pretty blocked up with my hands and my arms, and it just gets a bit crowded. So by loosening my grip, I can allow my fingers to stay on the mace, but my palm comes off, so that it flows a little bit more openly. It's gonna be the same on the other side. If I have my left hand on bottom, left hand is gonna push so that the globe comes over my right shoulder, bring it around and back in. Drop and down. Feel that momentum so that your muscles have a little bit of a rest and control that weight. Practice this on both sides and I'll see you back here for the next one.